I'm here along the North Platte River near Casper, Wyoming. But let me ask you, do you remember the good old days? Rivers so coated with oil that they caught fire. Lake Erie dying. Untreated sewage from major cities being dumped in rivers, lakes, and estuaries. That was the historical context of the Clean Water Act of 1972. Most of us would acknowledge that something needed to be done about such problems, and much has been done. Many of the worst sources of industrial and municipal pollution have been dealt with over the past 35 years. Now the focus on clean water is really on small, more dispersed sources of pollution, ultimately called non-point source pollution. Consider these old abandoned batteries and even these 55 gallon drums. You know their contents may be carried by rain or snow melt into a storm sewer. The fertilizer dissolved in the water running off this lawn and into that drain will end up in a river, lake, or groundwater. Even dog manure contains microorganisms that you don't want in your drinking water. These are all non-point sources of pollution. Collectively, these small dispersed pollutants can become a major problem. There are steps we can take to minimize them, partly to avoid regulation. But mostly, we don't want to go back to the good old days where massive pollution was rampant. I'm Tom Hill from the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service.